Hi, this is Everest John Alexander, and today we want to discuss remembering God. We say, you know, remember God. Let's take time to remember, you know, who He is, what He did for us. You know, let's take time to remember God. And it sounds all spiritual and nice and, 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 and you know, upstanding and whatnot, but <laughs> when you really consider it, to me, it's really a ridiculous concept. How can you remember someone that you never forgot? And how could you forget the one that has you breathing in and out every single moment of every single day? How, how is it possible for a born-again Christian to forget God? I do, you know, it, it doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't understand it. I mean, I can understand in the Old Testament with Israel, uh, that's the very reason why they had a Sabbath day, to remember God right to honor god they they were required not to work or do any sort of you know activity that would take them away from giving themselves to honoring and remembering who he is and what he did for them that's the purpose of a sabbath day so also a day of rest um that's why we don't have a sabbath day in the new covenant because we are not required to remember god we don't have to put aside a particular day to remember god he lives inside of us. You can't put uh, new wine into old wine skins. You know, so Israel did not have the ability, that they didn't have the, the, um, uh, the blessing of having the God of the universe live inside of them. They had to have a day, a time set aside to honor and to remember God. That's why they had a Sabbath day. That's why we don't. We don't need one. <laughs> right? Without getting into a whole other theology and whatnot, and Sabbath day is not part of the new covenant, period. But to deal with this particular issue of remembering God, that's why we don't need a Sabbath day. Why? Because he lives inside of us. How could you forget? He's the one that has your legs working, your arms working, your sight, taste, touch, all your facilities, all your, all your faculties working. How could you forget that? It, it, it boggles my mind. Um, <laughs> It's like it's like water. Think about water. You have molecules of hydrogen, you have molecules of oxygen. Now, separately, they are two completely different things. You have hydrogen and you have oxygen. But when you combine them together, they, they, they create a completely different uh, substance, water. All right? It's different. It's something that never existed before. The combination of those two elements. That's exactly what happens to us in the born-again experience. You have God, and then you have humans, right? God is divine, humans are mortal, and then you bring them together in the experience of the, the, the new birth, being born again. And here it is now, you have uh, a mortal human taking on the divine nature of God and becoming something that you have never been before. It's a brand new creation, literally. We read that in the scripture, but I don't think it makes sense to a lot of us Christians that after you become born again, you have now become something that never existed on planet Earth before. A new type. You're still human, but you're not a new type of, of human. You are immortal, divine. You have now taken on a different aspect of your uh, being. You now share in God's divine nature, according to Second Peter. All right? How could you forget that? <laughs> How is it possible to forget that? I mean, God is living inside of you. He has now become an intrinsic part of who you are. Right? He's closer to you than your, your mom, your dad, your brother, sister, son, daughter, any human relationship. It's like your lungs, your heart, your liver, your, your arm, your eyes, your nose, your ears. How could you forget these things? It's not possible. Why? It's a part of who you are. God has become a part of who you are. He lives inside of you. Most of us Christians treat that as though it were a fantasy, science fiction, a fairy tale. That's why we live the way we do. That's why we say the things that we say. Remember God. How could you forget? How is it possible to forget God? You cannot. Not if you understood exactly, precisely, accurately, the type of relationship that you now have and share with him. It's like blood flowing through your veins. That's how the Holy Spirit is. It's not possible to forget that. God, the creator of the universe, maker of all that we see and know, infinite power and wisdom, power and beauty, strength, honor, this perfect divine being, has chosen 
to take up residence inside of you. Live and become a part of who you are. How could you possibly forget that? This is Everest John Alexander. Thank you for stopping by.